This is an N scale layout built and owned by Dr. Wes Shanklin around Columbus, Ohio. Wes, when you were making this thing, what, what did you have in mind? Well, I wanted to make a fictitious town in southeastern Ohio. Let's walk down a little bit as we're talking here. Where the DT&I Railroad used to run. I grew up in Lima as a child, and the DT&I went right through Lima, down to Springfield and over to Ironton and Jackson, Ohio. So I wanted to make a fictitious type of southeastern Ohio layout, which I've done. I've used two 36 by 80 inch hollow core doors, which are hooked together. And I've modeled a fictitious town of Jackson, Ohio, right here. Which is where? South? In southeastern East Ohio, Ohio, yes. Where we have the burned out house and the trailer park. And like most of us who grew up in the 50s and 60s, had a baseball diamond. We all played a pickup game of baseball. Oh, yeah. And of course, I was always close to the industry if there was a railroad in town. And that's what this fictitious town is based upon. End scale. How tough has it been for you? You're a dentist, so you're used to working like detail, but how tough is this? Well, end scale is tough, especially the order you get. End scale is a uh, 1 to 160 ratio, so for every inch in end scale, it's 160 inches in the real world. So it's quite small, but as you can see, look how much detail, look how much railroad I've placed on two 36 by 80 inch doors. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that burned out house. I mean, that is very realistic. And I enjoy making detail like we made these uh, areas of transformers where we transform the, or transmit the power for the power station and the roads. And of course, you can see many of the buildings are lit on the inside. Yeah, you did a great job on this. How long did it take you to do it? Well, the phase one, which is over the other way, the yard, where the, I'm sorry, the industry area, probably took me about nine months because I just piddled with it. And this other spot you're looking at now, Jackson, probably took me about four to five months. At just a few hours in the evening, just enjoying myself. Oh, wow. You're fast. <laughs> All the trees are handmade with various techniques. I really use this as an experiment. Every one of these trees is an experiment for me to learn how to make a tree. I've never done this before. Hmm. So I learned all these different techniques, how to make trees, how to make mountains, how to make water that appears to be rushing, all this, like you talk on your website. And you did a great job, a Thank really you. great job. Thank you. Far better than I could do on end scale. Boy, I'll tell you, this is just too small for me, but you did a great job Thank on detail. You. Notice my manhole covers on the streets? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've got a graveyard up here where they're getting ready to plant somebody. And We've actually got a grave dug, and I haven't got the people put there yet, but we're going to have a pastor here with a whole party of people at the at the funeral. Huh. We've got some campers up there overlooking the town, as you can see. And As with so many towns in southeastern Ohio and all over the Midwest that were built in the 1800s and 1900s, there are actually trailer parks right in town, which now codes would not permit that. But today, there are many small towns in Ohio and Indiana and West Virginia and Illinois that have trailer parks right in town. So would you say this is done or is a layout ever done? Well, it always changes. I was just playing with it today before you came. Okay. I have a yard here, as you can see, where we can actually power the, the engines on each one of those tracks. You did a great job, really. Thank you. 